我啲仔女咁辛苦，我我觉得我自己做阿妈真系好失败。我同我啲仔女讲啦，我话好啦，好快有好多好大嘅环境俾你哋，我哋好困难啦。This is Mu Yiyu. She lives in a single room occupancy or SRO in San Francisco's Chinatown. She shares the tiny room, which is about a hundred square feet, with five others, her husband and four children, and has lived there for the past nine years. 嚟我个我个大个女瞓呢度，食饭讲上去，做作业又系喺呢度。啊，我个第二女做作业，食饭又系喺呢度。我我我个大个仔，我两个我两公婆瞓呢度。我我两个仔，我个大仔瞓呢度。细仔啊，瞓呢度夜晚黑，我哋根本唔够订房。有阵时呢，佢朝头早翻学，想去厕所，咁啲老人家同啲同啲阿公公咧，冇去厕所，佢哋冇订房，冇冇厕所去，咁佢唯有系响屋企啦。San Francisco's SROs are typically about a hundred square feet with shared toilets and showers on each floor. In the past, they have housed many of San Francisco's low-wage workers, transient laborers, and immigrants. Today, Yu's family pays $700 a month for the space, where privacy is nearly impossible to come by. Four children go out and play together. Then you play with me, I play with you. It's very, very fun. Then I call my older daughter to go out to the playground and go out to the playground. But, 人哋上落好唔方便噶。Thankfully, the family is no longer navigating remote learning, but COVID remains a threat because if anyone gets sick, the risk of everyone getting sick is so high. When Yu and her eldest daughter got COVID in 2022, they had to find a way to isolate themselves. 我哋喺楼梯过夜，喺楼梯过夜，楼梯食饭，夜晚瞓咧好冻嘛。一人一整皮，咁样一人一整皮攞出去俾我哋咯。一个礼拜，今年就系我嘅第二女，哇！我嘅第二女染咗，哇！真系好犀利啊！个鼻又生，呼吸呼吸啊又辛苦，哇！佢话乜嘢？我好辛苦啊！我点样点样又得？唉、哎，我真系想死啊！妈咪咁，哇！我听到我我都汗晒啦，我真系汗晒噶。Tens of thousands of people in San Francisco live in SROs, including an estimated 1,000 families, the vast majority of whom are in Chinatown. Yu's family applied for a federal housing subsidy program years ago, but they are still waiting for approval. Until then, all they can do is wait. The Thank you.